for Conor McGregor or he's recording the Ultimate Fighter. It's just about to wrap up. Uh, have you had a chance to speak with Conor at all uh, about, you know, since his fight with Mendez and how life is continuing for him in Vegas? Yeah, um, you know, it was kind of, it was a little bit strange, the timing of it. I thought so at the time, anyway, that he fought Saturday night and he started filming Wednesday, you know, so it, was, it wasn't exactly a long turnaround. <clears throat> but um, he's really enjoying the experience. You know, he's in there with Faber and I guess at the start there would have been a bit of tension, but that's kind of all gone now. It's just like, just kind of making making the most of it and making, it's, it's fun. Um, he said there's going to be some good scenes to watch in the show, so... Uh, I wouldn't be big into watching the Ultimate Fighter generally, but it's going to be hard not to watch it now to see see what goes on. Have Have you, since you've known Conor for forever, have you gone numb to some of the stuff that that he says, or are there times where you're like, oh no, did he, he didn't really just say that, did he? <laughs> um, you know, it's funny. Maybe it's an Irish thing. We we have a well, having a crack, you know. That's, that's a, and it's just not that unusual for us to to kind of like make fun of each other like this and guys Irish are guys you kind of get quick-witted fast because people are going to make fun of you so you get you learn how to make fun of them back really quickly but and I guess Connor's the first one of those type of guys that's made it to a very high level so you know the spotlight's on him but when we see what he's doing and, and his ability to kind of be uh, sharp uh, sharp-witted and sharp with his, uh, his tongue it's we, we kind of knew guys like that growing up in school and such, so yeah, maybe, maybe it's a Dublin or an Irish thing. You and I had a brief conversation <clears throat> about technique and mixed martial arts and, and how much I appreciate Connor and how he, he sets up his opponents correctly and then has that left hand that flies like a, like a torpedo. Um, but I have to ask you as the coach, as a guy that molds him into who he is and allows him the freedom to become the fighter that he wants to be, is there ever a time or has there ever been a time when as you as you approach the cage, or a matchup uh, was signed, where you thought, "Oh, this is this this might not be good for Connor," or are you at the point now where it's like nothing surprises you anymore? If he says he's going to win, he's going to win. Yeah, I think we're starting to see now the the emergence of the um, Eastern European and the, and the Russian fighters, like the Dagestan guys, going in and, and showing a different style of wrestling, <clears throat> and they're doing very well against the American uh, wrestlers. Maybe five years ago or so, before those guys are in, it was. It was, you know, the likes of Dan Hardy and, and uh, maybe even Bisping that got very close and then might have been stifled by um, by a wrestler. Um, the point I'm making is in my gym, we had a lot of these uh, Russians and, and uh, Polish guys, Lithuanians, from, from uh, Moldovans, from that side of the world that have been training with us and with Connor for a long time. So facing the wrestler, although I know it was a big question and the media was not, was not going to be a surprise to us. <clears throat> And saying that, walking out for the Mendes fight with it being so short, I was uh, curious to see how it would go. Um, I wasn't surprised at the few takedowns that were hit. If you're going to be facing someone at that level and you're shocked that you're taken down, well, that's, that's actually what induces the panic. That's what makes you tired. But if that's just part of the game and you're not so worried, once you understand that the general flow of the fight is going the right way, um, but yeah, uh, that that fight was 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 interesting as a as a fan. I was looking forward to seeing it, and now we have um, hopefully the the elder fight to look forward to.